The Wimbledon of old, of course, as well. It was sort of fame for its camaraderie and its, its team spirit. Mm. What was the, the group of players you, you were like with? Yeah, it's, um, it's something that I always try and replicate. If, you know, I'm coaching at the moment, but with, with teams that I have here, I we'll always try and replicate the same or similar sort of dressing room. We had a good mix between, you had a few older heads, you had your Jamie Stewart's, your Brett Johnson's, your Yaks, uh, your Danny Kedwell leading the line. And then we had it mixed in with a few younger, younger, hungry players, you know, myself, Stephen Gregory, Sammy Hatton, uh, Sammy Moore, Tooks. You know, it was a good little, bl- it was a good blend. And that's what Brownie did really well. He, he got I f- what I thought at the time was the best young up and coming players in and around the area, blended in with a few older heads, experienced, and it just gelled really, really well. So coming up to that day in Manchester, of course, that, that we wanted, we got on a bit of a roll. Mm. Um, it was James Mully as well was getting in the team. You had to go out on it, but you got your form back, and you got in the starting line up that day. Yeah, that's right. I, um, you know, it happens in football. I, I lost my place in the side um, midway through the season, and I had to I had to go out on loan. Um, fortunately, I went to Cambridge United. You know, it was another big club. Um, funny enough, I was literally a day away from from signing from someone else. Um, it was a lower league club and it just didn't feel quite right. Um, and then Cambridge come in with a loan. Um, it, it felt right and I, and I went and I, I stayed away from home for a bit. Um, it made me grow up quicker. And f- luckily for that, I, I come back a stronger person, better player. Um, so he, so he come, so come back and say play. I played and then managed to keep my place for up until the player final. So you played three quarters of that game, the big day at Manchester. What were your memories of that day? Um, to be fair, when you're, when you're actually playing, it's, it's hard to take everything in, to be honest. It, it does feel a bit like a blow. It was over. I'm, sh- I'm sure other players have said that. It, it seems to go really, really quick. Um, the actual game itself, you're so focused on, on your own job, you, the, the bigness of the game. Um, it just sort of passes you by a little bit, but the whole the whole week was 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 really great. We we got to train on the pitch as well. We trained on the pitch the, the day before. Uh, the whole whole occasion was was really really good. Because it was a tight game as well. I mean, when you when you then came off and you have to be on the bench with the rest of the lads for extra time and the penalties as yeah. well. You want to be out there being a part of it, don't you? That must have been tough. Yeah, well, it's it's more nerve wracking watching. So coming off after 70 minutes and watching watching the boys and watching the penalties, trust me, that's that's more nerve wracking I think than actually playing yourself. You know, I get to experience that a little bit now of being in the dugout when when my my youngsters are playing, and it is you're, you're less you feel less in control. You know, I'd rather be out there playing. You you feel like you've got some control over the over the impact a bit more. Um, but that day itself, going back to that, once it got through to penalties. It just, we just had this feeling, really. Um, it never was really in doubt, and I don't know if other players have said that, but all all through the playoffs, uh, all through the build-up, all through the penalties, without really knowing how, we just kind of knew that we was going to win. Um, so even through it down when we went down to penalties, yeah, we were nervous, but it just kind of felt like it was it was going to happen. How much does it stay with you? Can you still see those moments when, when Seb Brown makes the saves, when Danny Kedwell scores the winning penalty? Yeah, well, I'm lucky I, I obviously get to, I get to see Seb. Uh, he's down at Sutton as well. He's trying to pull funny faces at me now. <laughs> um, Going to get him over in a minute. But yeah, I, I owe Seb a lot. He, uh, he, done, he done brilliant for us. Um, fantastic goalkeeper and he should still be playing. Uh, you have to ask him why he's not. Why, why he's not. But... Yeah, and Keds, it was very fitting, wasn't it? You know, if you want anyone taking the winning penalty to get you up to the Football League, I don't think any fan, anyone that knows Wimbledon, would have picked anyone else other than Danny Kedwell. And he goes and rifles it in the top corner. Um, he doesn't even look like he's going to flinch. Um, so, yeah, it was one local, we've said being a, a Wimbledon fan, saving some penalties, and then Keds getting to top it off. It, it, it was just, the whole thing was just written, really, wasn't it? Absolutely. I mean, from what you can tell us, what clean stories can you tell us? Got amped up with the celebrations afterwards. A lot of alcohol, <laughs> um, a lot of celebration after. To be fair, me and Keds, we um, after the initial on on the pitch celebrations, me and Keds, we had to go and do our drug testing. Um, so we was ushered away straight by the by the FA, and we had to sit in a room with two other Luton players. So, <laughs> and it took a while for us to come back out. We was in there for a good half an hour, forty-five minutes. So by the time me and Keds come back out, 
Um, we'd missed quite a bit of the of the initial celebration, which was a bit. But yeah, it was a bit weird. Me and Ked sitting in there, all obviously excited, and then and the other two were obviously very down. But following that, we all, we all went to Vegas, um, which was another unbelievable trip, unbelievable experience. Um, everyone made it out there. It was just it, it was just perfect. Uh, it was a perfect five days, really. And then the enormity of the fact that hey, we're going to be a football league club. This club's you know achieved what it set out to do to get back its football league place. How much did that hit you? Are you going to be a professional footballer with them? Yeah, I, I think initially it probably didn't sink in straight away. Um, then once you come back after the summer break and go back into pre-season and you're seeing the fixture list, I think when the fixture list come out and you're thinking, cool, here we go in. Uh, we had Plymouth away, um, Shrewsbury, uh, you know, some big, big clubs. Um, I think when you, when you see that fixture list come out, you think, cool, you know, we're back in the football league now.